Hello and welcome to Tea Break Film Reviews. My name's Michelle and today I'm going to be looking at Mad Max Fury Road, directed by George Miller. I am going to be investigating how milk is used in the dystopian world of this film, both as a substance and as a symbol. So hold your glass and hear me out. Before we start, please consider subscribing to help support this channel so we can keep making videos like this. Milk. As a substance, it is blindingly white in color and uniquely turbid in consistency, with many benefits as a source of nutrition. As a symbol, it connotes not only motherhood and purity, but also crisis in its potential defilement and exploitation. Dystopian cinema often portrays a future that is less than desirable to live in, as explained by Joseph Adams. In a dystopian story, society itself is typically the antagonist. Oppression is frequently enacted by a totalitarian or authoritarian government, resulting in the loss of civil liberties and untenable living conditions. In Mad Max Fury Road, resources are scarce, and the ruling forces trade in bullets, fuel, water, and milk in order to survive the post-apocalyptic wasteland that they live in. Immortan Joe is one of these ruling forces, the leader of an area called the Citadel, and he holds an important position as the keeper of aquacola, or water, and the producer of mother's milk, producing it by hooking up women to machines much alike modern-day cows. Women and their milk are treated in a similarly disturbing way in A Clockwork Orange, a dystopian film where society is divided between the wealthy oppressors holed up in antiseptic homes and the poor oppressed who occupy their time with drug-fueled ultraviolence. In the opening shot of A Clockwork Orange, Alex and his droogs are drinking drug-laced milk at the Karova Milk Bar. As a substance, the milk has been corrupted and in turn corrupts the bodies of those who drink it. Corruption is a common theme in dystopian fiction, but the society in A Clockwork Orange is so corrupt that even bodily fluids are not safe. In Mad Max, the farming of the milk, though gruesome, is one of the things that make this film so unique, as explained by Tim Koch. Fury Road shows a thematic concern with resource scarcity, but also goes beyond the focus of most post-apocalyptic fiction. We are shown in vivid glimpses the effects such a scenario would have upon actual human bodies. Milk is both a cause and a cure to the apocalyptic crisis. The lack of milk and pursuit of it causes conflict. Once obtained, the drinking of the milk can help remedy illness and poverty. Throughout the narrative of Mad Max, every action that the characters make is related to mother's milk. As a substance, Immortan Joe and his family drink it to gain nutrients and strength. They trade it with other factions such as Gastown and Bullet Farm, and Mad Max himself washes in it when our heroes are on the run. As a symbol, it reflects the state of this dystopian world as a whole, a society where commodities are divided into three categories. The first category are things that appease daily biological needs, such as water and food. The second category are items of power that help protect against threats, such as bullets and fuel. The last category are things that ensure long-term survival as a species, things such as fertile women, and with them comes the mother's milk. Another dystopian film, Children of Men, shows the consequences of losing access to this last commodity. It is set in the future where women have become infertile, rendering the short-term commodities ultimately futile in the face of inevitable extinction. That is, until Key comes along, the only pregnant woman known to exist. She reveals her pregnant belly to Theo, her given guardian, in a barn where there are cows ready to be hooked up to milking machines. The dusty containers where the milk should be are empty, stained with remnants of old milk reminding us of what is missing. Within this microcosm, the general state of the world is shown. It is a dystopia without substance, both in the literal lack of milk and metaphorically in terms of a lack of children and therefore a lack of a future. Mad Max Fury Road is a story about survival. Immortan Joe may be a tyrant, but his despicable actions allow him to continue living. 
With milk, he relies on his ability to separate the substance from the symbol, and he manages to eradicate any subconscious moral objections to his actions. In order to overcome him, our heroes must obtain all three of the categories of commodity that Immortan Joe currently controls. In the film's finale, an epic reversal of power is enacted, in which, as Colleen Martel explains, the prosthetic free Furiosa, the seed-wielding wives, and the water-pouring milk mothers are now the source and foundation of society's structure. As the reign of Immortan Joe falls, questions arise. Are these new leaders able to ensure survival for all, without hierarchy, tyranny, or the exploitation of the human body? How long will the water last, and how fruitful can these seeds really be? Will the end of the mother's milk mark the beginning of the end for humanity? Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos, and comment with your thoughts on the topic. If you're interested in hearing more about how milk plays a part in both A Clockwork Orange and Children of Men, then please comment below, as I have only touched the surface in this video. For more film content, feel free to follow us on Twitter, Letterboxd, and Facebook. Links in the description. Otherwise, this has been Tea Break Film Reviews. My name's Michelle, and I hope you have a great day.